What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez and today we're going to be looking for the best video rendering software or editing software in Linux. So this video is going to cover what I feel and I believe is the best video software on Linux right now that I have been able to find and I just found it recently and it is lovely and you're looking at it right now. It's called Kenden Live or Kaden Live and this is a very, very almost Sony Vegas-esque rendering software. I use Sony Vegas, so I'm used to Sony Vegas. And um, I've been on the search for the last week or so for the best rendering software because I want to move a lot of my operations and work toward Linux. Um, so if you go into my sound and video, you can see all the things I've tried. I've tried PTV. I've tried uh, Sinlaria. they got to rename these. I can't pronounce these, or I'm just dyslexic um either one uh lightworks uh and can in live I've, I've tried a bunch of other ones and i've never been able to find the right one and a lot of them are really really good and a lot of them are really terrible so um i tried ptv as recently as like today this morning and i tried it and it's very very bare bones like when i want a rendering software i want to be able to go in and uh, grab a file, grab a uh, grab a, a video file like a MKV or .MP4, and this supports both and FLV, which surprised me a lot. So I want to be able to grab a video file and just pull it in, and I guess it works now because I'm recording. Of course, when I'm doing something to show a point and show that it doesn't work, it's gonna work, of course. But um, when I tried before, it didn't pull in. Um, but the problem is, this is very Sony Ves um, Vegas like. You don't get a, a sound bar. You can't change the volume. There's a lot of lot of problems and. For this, this is really good. This is a really good alternative to um, Kenden Live. So, um, Kenden Live I've been playing around with. I just got into it, so if I make mistakes, I expect it. And uh, uh, correct me on it down below. Um, so, a very, very Sony Vegas-like. You can separate audio. You get the audio track um, little preview. So, you can see where your your voice is coming from and where um, your highs and lows are if you make a, an editing cue. I do that a lot. So, when I'm rendering a video or making a video, I will pause during the video if I make a if I make a mistake so if I make a mistake I pause and then I stop talking so then I can when I go through the post production and I edit it I can go take that out and make it coherent so I don't sound like an idiot um, I do that a lot because I'm an idiot <laughs> no. um, I do that a lot so um, do being able to see where the audio is increasing decreasing and where it stops is like the most helpful thing ever so in PTV where you d you can't see the audio and you can't see the the, 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 the audio kind of like layout and where the highs and lows are and the silent parts are, it's almost impossible to edit because then you have to figure out. You kind of have to listen back, guesstimate where that is, and then kind of make the edit. I've done a few edit, a little bit of editing with this, and this video will be edited with Kenden Live. And I've also got a new screen recorder. But previously on Windows and Mac, I've used OBS, Open Open Broadcasting Software, which I found is very very good for recording desktops and a lot of people don't say that OBS is good for recording desktops but basically I've made my YouTube channel based off recording my desktop with OBS until I get a video camera and then I can show my face and do unboxings and different things like that but um, right as of right now I'm using simple screen recorder and it's going to kind of be like a inception of rec screen recordings so this is what I'm recording my screen with as of right now because two things um, OBS on Linux and Mac do not support .mp4 so .mp4 is the easiest, I found it, it may not be the best video quality, but it's the easiest to edit and work with with a lot of softwares. Um, uh, OBS works with FLV on Linux and Mac. You can only record in FLV. And FLV is very, very annoying. It's a very annoying video codec because when I want to import it to, um, say, Sony Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere, I can't. It doesn't let me. It's like, uh, this. we don't understand this video codec. There are probably add-ons you could probably add to these softwares, but I want it to work with out of the box. So with using software like this on Linux, I try to go with .mp4 a lot. So what I like about Kinden Live is you can get very nitty-gritty with your audio, like I do in Sony Vegas. So when I make an editing cue or I make a mistake or I stutter or something stupid, I want to edit it out. So I want to be able to go here and take out that pause. So I want to be able to go cut clip and then go to the next where it, I start talking again and hit cut clip and then merge the two together by deleting the pause. And then that's beautiful animations, and I love I love something that's coherent. And then when I play it back, I can actually there's no pause, and that is a oh, let's not do that. Wait, there we go. Um, so then there's no pause, and it's very very coherent. And how the video is 
rendering out. So now I can take it, and when I make a mistake, or I don't like a part I've spoke about, or I don't like how I said something, I can go in and edit it. And that's how you normally edit a video. But the main issue with support with Linux is that Linux has very, very lack, lackluster support in in any software, even Kenden Live. Kenden Live is very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but out of competitors of Adobe Premiere and Sony Vegas Pro, it's not going to beat them, of course. Um, there, there are probably paid softwares. Lightworks seems to be very good, but unfortunately, Lightworks does not seem to want to work. I would have used Lightworks. I do not like Lightworks for a few reasons. I don't like how it forces you to be full screened. I'd rather be able to move the window around like this. I, I like to be able to do that. And I don't like how it's like it's like full screen and you have to log in. It's kind of weird. And it, it's weird to me, so I don't, I don't feel comfortable enough. I don't feel comfortable like I do in Adobe or Sony Vegas. So a lot of times I, I stay away from Lightworks. And I've heard about Lightworks. And when I try to launch Lightworks, it doesn't work. I try to log in and it crashes instantly after trying to attempting to log in. So I don't know if that's my computer's problem, my Arch Linux installation's problem, or it's Lightworks for Arch Linux, I'm not sure. So that's what kind of drew me away. When something doesn't work out of the box, I usually can fix it. But when it doesn't work and it continues not to work and I don't have time to fix it, or I want to be able to do something very quickly and not have to worry about it not working, I want it to work very, very quickly and very coherently. I look for the best program, and Kenden Live for right now um, is the best program. And I'll, in the description below this video, I'll have how this video came out. Because when I render this video, I want to see how this video came out. If it comes out as good as the quality of Sony Vegas, I will uh, I will try my best to move a lot of my videos, even the ones that are just normal news and normal um, formatted videos, none like this. I'll move these to Linux because I, I only use Windows. I gotta stop cracking my knuckles. What's wrong with me? I only use Windows for video games. I play a lot of video games and I have a very very big Steam library. So when I want to when I want to play a game, I don't really go to Linux. As much as I do have games if you see on the the left side here, I have games for Linux. I a lot of games I want to play that are only for Windows. Uh, Arma 3, Arma 2, Daisy, those types of games they don't have Linux versions. And unfortunately, they don't work in they don't work in Wine very well at all. Arma 3 does not work at all so for me windows is the only downside of my computers because i can't play games on linux rise of right now and games that i want in the future only come for windows gta 5 for pc is only going to be for windows so as much as i don't like having windows on my computer and as much as i i hate the windows 8 look and i hate the metro ui I have to use it, and I have to live with it, and I, I, I've, I've made it usable, I have the start menu add-on for Windows 8, and different things like that. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about Kenden Live? I didn't really go through many of the features, but it's very, very basic. Um, not as in-depth as Sony Vegas, obviously, it is a free software, but it will, de it will definitely get the job done. You can extract audio, clip jobs, generators, I haven't really gone through this yet, but even transcoding, there's a lot, a lot of different coding. When you're starting Kinden Live, you get the option, unfortunately here, of course, for um, example's sake, it's not going to work, but you get the option to pick which type of video format you want to render in. So for me, usually on Linux, I'm not going to push it to 60 frames per second because I'm not sure how the rendering will work. So I'll probably do HD 1080p 30 for FPS or probably 29.97, depending on how uh, Simple Screen Recorder records this. So when you want to do that, you'll probably select that and you select the video um, encoding you want. So that's very helpful, and especially for a free software to have all that uh, encoding options, that's very, very good. So what do you think about Kenden Live? Do you like it? Do you Would you rather use it, Sony Vegas Pro or Premiere Pro or Premiere? Would you rather use those, or would you want to support something like this, open source and free? Leave that in the comments below, and I'll comment back. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.